What you up to, babe? Getting ready to paint the bottom. Did you say it's bottom paint day? Yeah. All right, guys, so we have got slightly out of order on this one. We've been quite methodical this time in the yard, not like Luke Prom. We were kind of bouncing everywhere because there really was too many jobs to do and getting the materials there was a nightmare. But here, seeing as we got the materials, um, we've got access to something. If we forgot it, only takes a day or two to come on Amazon. We've actually been a lot more structured in getting jobs done before moving on to the next one. But here with the bottom job, okay, normally most people do that last thing, don't they, before they jump in the water. But this bottom paint that we've got here is good for 60 days. Um, before you need to splash and our good friends on Irie Cat they are actually splashing tomorrow and they've offered to help paint the bottom of our boat as we have a thank you for some of the bits we've been doing for them so seeing as we've got extra hands today all hands on uh, not quite on deck but all hands on the bottom and uh, let's get this banged out hi we are Erica and Davey an adventurous slightly crazy couple who has taken on the challenge that is a hurricane damaged catamaran we have come so far, subscribe to our channel to follow our journey. Take a chance, you never know how perfect something may turn out to be. So I think we mentioned it last time in a couple videos back when we were sanding the bottom of the boat. Um, so you can see there's a little bit of the red hard bottom paint that we put on and then we had put on black ablative on top of that. Um, so this time we are using a Total Boat product I think I have dust on my face already. Um, and as long as the previous paint was in good condition, we sanded it, cleaned it, and now we can just apply that paint right on top. Um, as we've been going across the bottom, we have found a few small little bubbles. There's not too many of them. Um, but Davey is going to be mixing up some epoxy barrier coat. We've sanded those areas back. We're gonna just put a little bit of the epoxy barrier coat on them just to protect that area a little bit more. Anyway, Davey's no saying they weren't deep holes, they didn't have liquid in them. Um, so there's nothing to be concerned about. What was the peanut gallery saying? <laughs> well, I hear you giving everyone advice and yeah. I wasn't giving you advice, I was well, just saying advice. what we found. You know what I mean? Yeah, but no, when I did just sand them off and then clean them off with acetone, they're not leaking, they're not bleeding, so they're not osmosis bubbles. Might have just been something in the paint, to be honest. So uh, that's super easy. Now we've sanded them, we'll put just a touch of epoxy barrier coat, so that doesn't take long to dry before you can put the bottom paint straight over the top. So I've got a few little touch-up areas and the bits also, because we're moving the underwater lights, we're putting two extra ones on and we're moving location. They were a bit high last time, didn't like it. So I epoxied those up last night, I've just sanded them. I'm gonna get the epoxy barricade one before you lot get the paint on. So I've just gotta sand the, or not sand, I have to uh, clean the other side, this side behind me here. Clean that off, my hands are already black. <laughs> and then we'll be able to put the paint on. So the paint that we're using is a total boat. It's Spartan multi-season ablative anti-foul paint. Uh, Self-polishing multi-season copper paint. So it's gonna be interesting. We have we have four gallons of bottom paint and on the cans it says we can do 500 square feet per can. So I'm not 100% sure how many coats we are gonna be able to get onto the boat. Um, we're hoping at least three. I wanna try and at least get three coats of bottom paint on the entire boat and maybe an extra coat around the waterline and on the front of the hulls, um, just cause that's where there's a lot of pressure, obviously the boat moving through the water. So try and get a few extra bits on certain areas and Lonnie nearly fell off the ladder. <laughs> it's gonna be a good day. Because he's old. <laughs> what? It's because he's old. He had his birthday yesterday. So we're raising the water line ever so slightly. I don't think it was 100% straight before, right? No, nah, that was our main man, Dan. No, that was me, wasn't it? No, I think it was. We tried several times. In the end, Dan said, come on. And Dan took over this. <laughs> he I remember up one end to the other. I remember having the tape and just going one end right to the other and just sticking it on. I think Dan, Dan got fed up waiting for it. <laughs> he took over this, I remember. We had Dan, Jen, Hannah, Pat. Hey guys. <laughs> so it's gonna look like that. Going down there, Lorny. 
Fantastic. Hey, how much do you love bottom paint, huh? Uh, Doing it on other people's boats when you just finished better. your own. <laughs> Painting four days in a row. Oh, Erica's having issues. <laughs> Look at the state of that suit. One, she's not wearing it properly. Let's get a better angle. <laughs> So what are we doing, babe? Are we covered in paint again? What happened to your suit? It's hot. You're only wearing half of it and you've got your legs are hanging out from a gap in your crutch. <laughs> I stood up and it went wee! <laughs> anyway guys, it's uh, starting to go on good. I'll show you the other side. It looks better because the side's drying in the sun. Looking fantastic. So that's the first coat. So that's the first coat going on there. She's going to look fantastic. Obviously, uh, we are working on multiple pro painting projects at the moment. So the underside under here, we're going to give you a proper tour around later, but this is actually the final top coat colour. And uh, got the last coat on it as well. So it's looking great. Hard top coming along as well. Hard top is foamed, but uh, needs a little bit of sanding and a couple of layers of gloss before she's ready to go on. And uh, unfortunately, our good friends and neighbours here from Irie Cat. Unfortunately, they're going back in the damn water tomorrow. <laughs> so they're leaving us to it. They're running away. We thought we were friends. It's over. Uh, much work so the now. worst problem with that is I had this massive plant. I could work on my one part of the hardtop under my boat, this part of the hardtop under their boat. Now I'm ready to start on this part. They're leaving and I've lost my shade. So we're going to have to do a bit of jiggling around, a bit of organisation, see if I can move this further in. So uh, anyway, wish me luck because I can't stand it here and work in this heat. All right, a little bit of a hard top update. So as you know, I'm working on the fiberglass parts that we built in the Dominican, finishing them off. But above the helm station, we've got no sun protection up there. And um, that's something we're definitely building in as well. So what I've decided to do, I'm using marine ply, three quarter inch. Now I've shaped this, formed this, sanded it ready. So it's ready to go on. Taking a back corner off here because there is a curve and I also want to try and reduce the amount of shading going on the solar panels that are up there. So this is a nice thick heavy board which is already marine grade. And I'm going to be coating it with fiberglass. So 1708. It's a really good biaxial material this one here, nice and solid. So you've got the, the bidirection on this side and you've got the chop stand which is uh, sewn in as well. Oh that's so satisfying. Looks good, eh? Yeah. So we managed to do three full coats and then a fourth just around the waterline and the front of the bows, front of the keels. So we still have one gallon left. Whether or not we use it, we're still in. We've got to open it because we've got to do with the jack stands are. True. So I reckon we'll probably chuck on another one. We're looking at trying to get two seasons before we have to uh, pull the boat out. So I reckon, and this is a blade if. So it's probably better to have more on there than less. Okay, so today is the day that Irie Cat is gonna go back in the water. They've been looking forward to this. I think they've been on the hard now for about four months doing this refit. We're not jealous at all. Not jealous at all! <laughs> oh no. I think I need to be blocked down. Somehow it's coming in between the... That one! So there's water coming out in the same spot on both sides. Yeah. Yeah, I remember you and 
make it, it was already uh, in there. In there. I thought that was a vent hole. Now the question is, do you have that part? Yeah. You do. <laughs> I think so. Okay, so the good news is it's only coming out of one spot, so it might just be a seal or a plug yeah. that's supposed to be in there. Um, so Lonnie's gonna check and see. They thought it was already installed in the engine itself, but I guess we're gonna not. find out. We're gonna find out, <laughs> and hopefully it's a quick, easy fix, and they can still get on their way today. Um, but let's yeah. hope so. <laughs> not not as exciting yet as we thought it was gonna be. I put fresh water in the day, yeah. and it came out that hole. Gotcha. So that's fresh water now, but it was pissing in pretty good. So I need to plug that hole somehow. It must be something in the instructions. That doesn't look like something that's filled with epoxy or something. It looks like it's there for a reason. Yeah, thank you. It does look like a manufactured hole. Yeah, so, yeah, yeah. Uh, we got to find out. What that's it the is. same on both of them, I take it. Yeah. We've got to find out what it was supposed to do and then go from there, I guess. Yeah. All right, good luck. Uh, the other yard has agreed that they know you've got this going on. Well, the only other place I can see him is the street. There's three here. It looks like the back end of the screws, though, for the zincs. Yeah, that's what that is. Ah, that's yeah. a plug of some description. Yeah, now, they're yeah. just caps over yeah. the, the studs, because the studs. there's three studs. Something goes in there to seal that. Yeah, what? It's a very small hole for a plug yeah. that could fall out. What the hell? Unless it's, um, is it threaded? I haven't got glasses on. It's been painted over. <laughs> I can't tell. It would be a flat surface if it was threaded. He even had his happy hour shirt on. Is it? Nice. No, your shirt, happy hour. <laughs> All right, so that is some bad news for Eerie Cat. Irie Cat, sorry. That is some bad news for Irie Cat. Um, so hopefully they can solve the problem quickly. This yard is getting super busy with all the Canadian snowbirds who are coming back from the Bahamas and storing their boat for the summer season. Um, so there's not a lot of space, but hopefully everything will work out quickly and efficiently and they can solve those two problems that they found with the electric engines. Oh no, the neighbors are back. So the problem with their electric engines on Irie Cat, it seems like they have done some research and it seems like there is supposed to be some water in there for cooling. So it goes in this hole. So he didn't seal it correctly on the inside. Um, he thought he did enough of a seal, but it looks like he has to seal the whole compartment. So he's put more 4200 up in there. Um, and he's gonna wait until he can talk to Torquedo tomorrow on Monday, because today's Sunday, so um, can't get too much back. So hopefully he may have sealed it from the inside properly this time. And yeah, it's just gonna be a waiting game to see what Torquedo says. Okay, so the good news is, I recap, they heard back from Torquedo. So yes, there is supposed to be more of a seal up in the top part of the engine. What uh, Lonnie has done with that extra 4200 in that seal should solve the problem. So they're on their way to be splashed again. So they got a couple extra days on the hard beside us, um, but they're really looking forward to this. So keep your fingers crossed. Here's a here's Right? <laughs> is it is it running? Yeah, yeah you can't hear it. It's so cool. Yeah. I gotta get it on video the yeah. first time they move this thing. Okay, so unfortunately today is a little bit of a windier day um, to be splashing than what they had originally hoped for. And it is a little bit overcast, so it is going to be interesting to see how the engines uh, do with this. Um, they are planning on sailing down the ICW a little bit to a safe anchorage. So because of the wind today, everyone has decided to pull the boat 
to reverse the boat out of the slip with lines so that they can get a straight shot with the engine so they don't have to play around too much in this really narrow area um, with the brand new electrics as they haven't really practiced with them and they don't know how much how much to give it really so once we get them right, out they'll have a straight shot out the channel we still have it. Yeah, go. Yeah. Okay, Marcos, uh, this is the line you want. <laughs> All right, we're clearing here. We're good. We're good. Pull them right alongside the boat. How about a little port forward? Port forward. That's a, that's more than enough. All right. Do you want to be released or you want to throw a stern line to us here or you want to be released? Right. Don't let go, don't let go. Are you good? You got both motors, right? Both motors, here comes the line. Yeah, you're good. Once you get outside, don't forget to find it. The line is in the way. Good luck, guys. Nice job. Oh. It's so quiet! Okay, so now that your ivory cat, I keep getting that wrong. Now that ivory cat um, has splashed, we'll be back to do, working on the hard top in next week's episode. So stay tuned guys, hope you enjoyed this week where we painted the bottom and ivory cat almost sank. <laughs> Just kidding. <laughs>